All right, let's go and set up this Zoom chat moderation system, which turns those big and boring meetings kind of fun. Uh, we're just here on the main website, and it has all the instructions. They're very long in the written form, but it's actually very fast once you just do them. So we start by going to Zoom settings. I have to log in. Okay, and I need to go and find Group HD option. Now, scrolling down takes forever, so I just use search. Group HD, OK? And you want to make sure that it's ticked on. If it was off like this, then you can press it, and it'll turn blue. And you can see it says settings have been updated. Awesome. Close this. The next thing to do is to install the free program, OBS Studio. I'm on a Mac, so let's just go ahead and do that this way. Great. Uh, and it takes a moment to decompress. Once it's decompressed on the Mac, you just drag it over. That's it. It's installed. Uh, let's just go and get rid of this thing here. This is just the installer. OK, good. And the next thing to do is just to start OBS Studio. So I'm going back down here to the launch pad, start OBS Studio. It's going to warn me it came from the internet. Yes, I know. I just took it from the internet. OK. And it takes a moment to start. I'll close these tabs in the meantime. It takes a while to start because it's actually setting up, configuring. It's a really powerful program. You can use it for all kinds of other special effects, not only this transparent overlaid Zoom chat. It takes a while. It's a big program. OK. We don't actually need the auto configuration wizard. We're actually only using it for the virtual camera. Uh, but I'll hit cancel because we're going to go straight to those settings. You go to settings. It's in video. That's what we care about. And we're going to choose 720p. That's 1280 by 720 for both of these options. That's because for, mon for many Zoom accounts, you have group HD video at 720p resolution. If you happen to have an education or a business account, it actually might be able to do 1080p. Um, that one, I would just say, if it looks clear with 1080p, go for it. But I'm just putting 720 for, for most people. And then over here, we put 30 frames per second, because that's what uh, Zoom communicates in. OK. And then now we want to actually go and add our webcam to this. So plus video capture device, uh, video capture device. And I'm going to choose my webcam. That just happens to be what it is here. I'm going to use the same uh, resolution as we just had. And I guess that's me. OK. Here we go. And let's press Start Virtual Camera. So now, once the virtual camera is running, we can actually go and start the Zoom app with our meeting. Here we go. Zoom, big, boring meeting. Oh, I'm just on time. Start. OK, join the meeting with computer audio. And the first key thing to do is to make sure that you're going to change your camera to OBS Virtual Camera not the HD Pro webcam. HD Pro webcam just takes that camera image and puts it on the screen. OBS Virtual Camera will let us do all kinds of funny stuff with that image. Well, we'll see what that means in a moment. So let's go back and go back to those instructions. What's next? So we did all of these things. We added our camera. Um, oh, yes. We also want to make it so that it's only possible to chat with hosts and co-hosts. The reason for this is because we actually wanted to moderate the chat. So normally, anyone can talk to anyone. But once we turn it to only talking to hosts and co-hosts, well, now suddenly, whenever anyone tries to talk, it's only going to go to a particular bunch of people, and it won't be that everyone sees it all at the same time. That's a very important step, because that's what makes it so that we can moderate. So I just pressed on this shield, because I want to get the meeting ID. I copied that, Command-C on the Mac. Let's go back here, and I'll paste it into this spot. Next, I want to get the passcode. So here's the passcode. This is the passcode. It's usually inside the invite link, except that the only way I know to get the passcode is to actually open the meeting and then grab it from here. No problem. Let's go back, put it in here. Now, this room and password, these are private for you in the sense that anyone who's using our system is able to have their messages echoed into some chat moderation room. Um, and the chat moderation password just makes it so that even if someone else randomly guessed your room, they wouldn't be able to see what everyone was talking about. You don't actually need to write these things down, because actually, our whole system really only uses messages for two minutes anyway. If you ever forgot, you can just like go back to this page and reopen it. No problem. And if, if you like to write words that you prefer, you can just go and write something nicer there. But please don't write any of your real, normal usernames or passwords. This is not something that needs to be remembered. OK, let's go ahead. Join Zoom. Now that opens another browser tab right here. And I just click Join for the Join Meeting. Good. You can see that I've just 
Ooh, join the meeting again. I want to make this silent. Leave computer audio. Bang, much better. Okay, yes, so that's, as you can see, I wanted to keep that piece in because sometimes what you end up getting is this weird echoey thing. You want to make sure that this other thing that has opened your big boring meeting, which is now in a browser tab, you want to make sure it's not connected to the audio at all because the only thing this is used, is used for is to grab the chat. Okay, very good. So now this is here, let's continue. Uh, we've joined the Zoom and now we want to actually open this moderation page as well. This is the powerful page that lets you decide what to do with messages that come through. If you have a trusted other person, whether, whether it's an assistant or a student or a co-host, they would actually get access to this page. Okay, and you can always copy the link and send it to them. Uh, right, now that we're in, the next thing to do is let's just go and add this chat relay, who is the new person who has come in, add them as a co-host. The way you do that is you click on the, part you click on the participants thing and you just go and make them a co-host. That's important because remember, we made it so that you can only chat to hosts and co-hosts. Okay, let's try. I'm just going to try to chat. Uh, anyone, if they want to chat, they have to go and choose chat to chat relay. And it's like, hi, everyone. Let's see what happens. Now, the beautiful thing is it should actually be walking its way up over here. You can see that this is the moderation pane. It already has found it. And the message came in, it went through. What this moderation pane does is that whenever any new message comes in, it appears on the left side. This left side is your stream of every message that goes into the meeting. A message. Wow, another message. Yay, you can see they're just coming in. Now, on the right side, what's going on is this is showing you which messages are going to pop into the display. Uh, we haven't added the display yet. We'll add that in a second. But you can see it takes 10 seconds for the message to walk its way all the way up. It's sort of like if you played this game called Tetris before. This is like the next piece. See, next message. And it pops in here, and it takes a while as it moves all the way up. By the way, if you don't like it, bam, it's dead. Okay, but now let's go and see what this actually does. Back to the instructions. So, oh yes, I was already here. Back to the instructions. Okay, and this, this by the way, this moderation page, anyone who's helping you as a moderator, they can open it. Okay. Very good. And now let's go and get this projection link. Um, this button automatically copies it to your clipboard. We're going to go back to OBS Studio. Where was that? That was over here. And we're going to go and get this chat out of the way. Now let's go and add this as a browser input. We call it browser. It doesn't matter for now. And we're going to paste that right there. The optimal dimensions that we like right now are 900 by 200. Uh, you can, of course, be creative and do whatever you want and experiment later. Bam. Now I have this. I'm going to put it not, not quite at the bottom because the Zoom meeting controls sometimes cover things up. I'll put it around here. But now let's go and watch what this does. Uh, I wonder how many of these I can see on the screen at the same time. I'm going to put this over here so that we can sort of see this at the same time. I just want to be able to make it so we can see what's going on. OK, great. Let's put a message through. Let's try again. OK, that message is here. And it's now walking its way up the screen. And as it walks its way up the screen, we're going to see that over here something will appear. Magic! It's right there. Uh, and by the way, that has also appeared in your Zoom meeting. I'm just going to press pin so that I can see for myself what has just happened here. Right? Uh, let me unpin, remove pin. But just so you know, anyone else who's in the meeting would at that point see your message which has, see the message which has appeared here. Another message. And you can see that the system lets you control all these messages as they're coming in. Another message. If I like it, by the way, I can press this and boom, it's right there. More. Here we go. I like this a lot. I'm going to put another one in. And as you can see, it's updating both up here in the Zoom as well as I get my own preview in the OBS. Well, that's actually it. This whole thing is already set up. It already works. If you ever want to do this again for another Zoom meeting, all you have to do is you just have to go back to this particular step uh, where you, uh, let's go back here. You always have to make sure that you put, the, put it so that the people can only chat with hosts and co-hosts so that everything goes through this alternative system instead. You always need to get the meeting and the passcode. Those things come from this shield button. That's how you get the meeting and the passcode. And then once you have it, 
boom, you just join Zoom. That brings up the chat relay, which is automatically capturing the chat messages. And then you open the moderation page, share the link to any other moderator who wants to use this, and you simply put whatever is the current projection link into the OBS Studio. That's actually where this room and password come in. If you ever change these two, all you have to do is just copy the projection link and update it in the OBS Studio. On the OBS, if you ever need to update something, you double click on the browser. And as you can see, here's the URL. Just change it to whatever you have for the new room and the new password. OK, but that's it. So here we are. We happen, have, we happen to have a system now, which makes it possible to go and turn any big Zoom meeting into something that could actually be fun and lively. I hope you guys have fun using it. Take care.